Hi all. This is a short presentation of what I did today with Open Dolphin. And um, I have included a feature such that multiple Dolphin sessions can synchronize on the server. Dolphin sessions always run on the server. Dolphin applications always run on the server. And uh, so the various applications, the various views that you have on the client can easily synchronize. So here's an example. Um, consider that we have a train and the train has a driver and the driver is able to um, change the speed. And there may be more and more views in the, in the train itself to show uh, the current velocity. So this, for example, this is a simple view and this is uh, the dashboard of the driver. So when the driver changes the uh, current speed, and you see the speed is updated with the help of, pres of the presentation model on his dashboard, but also in the other views that are distributed all over the train. Um, we may have even more views. Um, let me quickly show over here and add another one. And as soon as we start changing the volume, all three are kept in sync. Even if I do really quickly change the values, they kind of, with a, with a small delay, they catch up. Going to the AV, going to the zero, even if I take oh, zero over here. Tip, 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 even if I take the mouse, and this makes this really nice animation since uh, they are, they look like they're, they would be really in sync in real time. And uh, everything happens on the server, so every event that we have over here first goes to the server, and then uh, this has to be updated, and this has to be updated, and they update really with um, with a long polling. Um, this is almost this is, is really hard to um, to not be surprised about it that even a long polling looks as if this would be something like uh, web sockets or so. Another interesting finding from today was uh, that this is really simple. There was almost no change in the Dolphin infrastructure uh, to make this happen. What we have here uh, in the background is the view that we have seen, uh, the gauge from Gerrit Grünwald from the JFX Trust project for the, for the radio. Um, we put it in the center and in the bottom there's a slider. We use the presentation model for the train and the train speed. Uh, we are binding the gauge and the slider against the, uh, the speed of our car that we have here, the train car. If we are in the driver mode, uh, we are also binding the value of the slider against the speed of the presentation model. And uh, otherwise, we do a long polling for uh, pulling the train speed and updating automatically since the, um, the long polling will set the speed. The speed is automatically uh, changed in the presentation model. And since we have bound the presentation model against the gauge and the slider, it all updates automatically. The second interesting finding was that writing a multi-thread save distributed event bus in Grails is with Grails and Dolphin is pretty easy. This is the whole event bus. Uh, we make use of GPARS, so of GPARS agent, so the, the linked list of subscribers is uh, thread safe since we put it into an agent and we are adding to it and removing from it only um, through the agent. And when publishing, when, when sending the events to the subscribers, we, uh, we also do this in, uh, through the agent. Um, the, the clients of that uh, event bus are Dataflow queues. So whenever there's a new event, we push, the, push that event or that value in the Dataflow queue, making sure that everything is nice, nicely thread safe on the server. There will be much more to say about this uh, approach in the documentation, but uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.